Gabrielle Union has settled comfortably into her life alongside her husband, former NBA player Dwayne Wade, and their blended family. From the outside looking in, they appear to be living a picture-perfect lifestyle, but it's about time we address all the red flags that continue to bust us upside the head. Are y'all ready to get into this hot, stankin' mess? Is fat meat greasy? Before we dive into it, be sure to scoop up something to munch on at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of turkey, beef, and bacon jerky, watermelon licorice, and gummy sour bears. After her marriage to Chris Howard ended in 2006, Gabrielle was getting her back blown out by several men in the industry. Now that sounds fun as hell. And then in January 2007, she was spotted flirting and dirty dancing with Derek Jeter at a nightclub. Weeks later, she met Dwayne at a Super Bowl party. In an interview, she said she wasn't interested because she was truly, madly, deeply in love with someone else. Say what now? Not only was there another man occupying her heart and mind, but she wasn't interested in dating another athlete. To find out why, be sure to check out our other Gabrielle video after we wrap things up here. Okay, I'ma check it out, girl. So anyway, she was also turned off by his age since he was 25 and she was 34 at the time. Oh, and did we mention Dwayne was also married to his high school sweetheart, Savon? Lord, this is messy. In other words, Dwayne was a walking, talking red flag. And knowing what we know about Gabrielle, well, she was no saint either. <laughs> Gabrielle told Essence Magazine, I stayed on one side of the room with my people. We like to party, and he doesn't drink at all. He was on the other side of the room holding Bible study. Just a closer walk with thee. <laughs> So they decided to be friends. Friends? Besties, is it okay for your partner to spark a new friendship with a single person? Let us know down below. Girl, you already know the answer to that. After going through what she described as a heart-crushing breakup with yet another immature jerk, she decided to give Dwayne a chance. And this is where things get a little messy. I knew it. Dwayne filed for divorce from Savon in 2007, the same year he met Gabrielle. However, he insists Gabrielle wasn't the reason his marriage went sour. Stop lying. He and Gabrielle made their public debut in 2010, the same year his divorce was finalized. Coincidence or not? Nah? <laughs> They've had to endure constant media scrutiny ever since, including lawsuits and an unconfirmed allegation that Dwayne gave his ex-wife an STD. Mm, mm, mm. In May 2010, Savon filed a case claiming Dwayne's relationship with Gabrielle was causing her and her two children emotional distress. Gabrielle denied the allegations and the lawsuit was eventually tossed out. The blog started picking up all the drama and referred to Gabrielle as a homewrecker. In an effort to do some damage control, the couple sat down with Essence Magazine and stated they were going to take the high road by promoting a positive image of black love. We'll see about that. Gabrielle attempted to ignore the backlash, but she also admitted that the negative attention was taking a toll on her. She told Radio 1's TT Therese, I want to protect myself. I've built my life, I've built my own brand, I've built my career, and my career took a hit from the madness. Duane was awarded sole custody of his two children in early 2011, and he adopted his nephew, Davion Morris, that same year. But the drama was far from over. In November 2011, an anonymous woman told told Bossup website that Dwayne was cheating on Gabrielle all the time. Lord, this is messy. Considering he was still legally married when he and Gabrielle started dating, no one was really surprised. The woman gave a stern warning to Gabrielle though. She said, can't lie, he is great in bed, but I definitely would not take him seriously the way Gabrielle does. Do you think Gabrielle gave a damn? They continued with their happy romance, up until they started experiencing relationship issues in 2013. Uh -oh. That's when Dwayne decided to make a decision that would change their relationship forever. He met up with his longtime friend, Aja Matoyer, and started clapping her cheeks. Aja, who already had two children with actor Damon Wayans Jr., got pregnant. Well, I'll be damned. 
Dwayne and Gabrielle claimed they were broken up when Dwayne decided to go half on a baby with someone else. Girl, stop lying. But TMZ uncovered some of Gabrielle's social media posts that were shared during the time of their alleged breakup that proved they were still very much together. In her memoir, Gabrielle admitted they weren't in a good place when Dwayne stepped out on her. And since she was having fertility issues and was unable to carry a baby to term during their relationship, it hurt 10 times worse to find out how easily he got someone else pregnant. You put your trust in a ninja stupid. How you figure he want your best friend and your sister a lie to ya and then he's a ninja don't let him fool instead of coming clean about his new baby on the way Dwayne told club Shay Shay that he tried to break up with Gabrielle instead this ninja his breakup speech went a little something like this <clears throat> hey things have been bad lately we've been having a little distance in our relationship anyway huh but according to Dwayne, Gabrielle wouldn't take no for an answer, and she kept showing up in his life. Knowing that he couldn't get rid of her clingy ass, he decided to go ahead and tell her the truth. Naturally, Gabrielle struggled to forgive him. In her memoir, she wrote that a small voice kept telling her to leave, but her fear of public humiliation was so great that she couldn't even take her own advice. So she sucked it up and stayed with him. Aja gave birth to their son Xavier in November 2013, and less than a month later, Dwayne proposed to Gabrielle with an eight and a half carat diamond engagement ring. His children helped him by holding signs that read, Will you marry us? And Gabrielle said yes. Now, many people believe that Dwayne proposed so that Gabrielle wouldn't leave him. However, in her memoir, she made it clear that she wouldn't leave him anyway because she didn't want to deal with the public humiliation. Either way, this was the start of a terrible idea. And they were two people who probably shouldn't have gotten married in the first place. Terrible, terrible idea. After signing a prenup, they became husband and wife in April 2014. While playing for the Miami Heat, they lived in a home Dwayne had previously purchased. During an argument, he threw it in Gabrielle's face that she was living in his house that he paid for. He need his ass beat, okay? <laughs> During an appearance on Club Shay Shay, Dwayne said Gabrielle looked at him and responded, you will never say that to me again when it's something that we share. I know that's right. When the family relocated to Los Angeles, Gabrielle made it clear she wanted to go half on everything so he could never have the opportunity to call their new house his home. After suffering an estimated nine miscarriages, they decided to have a child via surrogacy, and their daughter was born in November 2018, making Dwayne a father of five children by three women. While the drama in Dwayne and Gabrielle's lives has subsided in recent years, Gabrielle continues to deal with the aftermath of Dwayne's decision to conceive a baby with someone else. Looking back on her decision to give him a second chance, she wrote in her memoir, The me of today would not have stayed with him, but would I be who I am now without the pain? Contrary to what some people believe, love doesn't have to hurt in order to feel real. Your partner should bring peace to the relationship, and someone who's meant to be in your life wouldn't betray you like Dwayne did Gabrielle. Ashe and amen. Okay. Has Gabrielle finally decided that enough is enough? Apparently so. According to an October 2023 blind item posted by a gossip blog called Dumois. According to the blog, Dwayne was reportedly spotted having an intimate conversation with another woman. You can't trust no ninja, no, no. The blog also stated that Gabrielle has been posting cryptic messages on her social media about clarity, truth, and transparency. The blog added, an insider said they will be like Will and Jada if they ever separate. They will keep it quiet and live their separate lives, but keep a united front for years if necessary. Law, not another entanglement, Jesus. RRG took a look at their respective social media accounts. He shared a photo for her 51st birthday on October 29th, and the caption is very telling. What do you say, girl? 
The caption reads, May your journey to peace become shared stories in your next memoir. We don't need no more celebrity memoirs. We tired. We love you, and we hope that you're having a day for you. A day for you? What that mean? Gabrielle responded to the post by telling Dwayne that she loves him, but it wasn't enough for people to stop speculating about the status of their marriage. At this point, the red flags were there from the first day they met. So we can't say we're surprised by the new marital issue allegations. Either way, we wish them the best. If you enjoyed this video, let us know down below. And thanks for watching RRG.